Welcome to Cumberland Country. I'm C.J. Cumberland. For the next hour, I'll be your guide to the best local and regional country and bluegrass music around. So ease back, relax, and leave the rest to Crescent Hill Radio. All right. Welcome, everybody, to Cumberland Country. We've got a great show for you tonight. Um, my guest on the show tonight in the first hour, uh, guest host, is uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Hannon Tierney from uh, Inside Louisville. And we're going to um, be talking with him about uh, local music and regional music. And um, we're going to get to him real soon. But before we do that, um, I'll want to announce that um, Cumberland Country is now sponsored by American Recording Company. And uh, listen to this. American Recording Company, dedicated to providing professional quality audio recording at reasonable rates. Our creative and knowledgeable engineers can help tailor projects to meet your budget. For more information, call 502-457-9057 or on the web at AmericanRecordingCO.com. That's 502-457-9057, AmericanRecordingCO.com. ARC Studios, creative soundscaping. All right. Very proud to be uh, sponsored by American Recording Company. Um, Give uh, John Mattingly um, a call out there. And uh, um, for all your... uh, um, creative soundscaping needs, I guess. Um, as I said, we are uh, uh, live on a first hour of Cumberland Country. Our guest um, host in the studio tonight is Michael uh, Hannon Tierney. And uh, Michael is from the Louisville, in, Insider Louisville, is that right? That is correct. All right, man. Um, and we're like I said, we're going to be talking with him about, um, you know, local and regional original music and um, um, s- talking about some of the things he does at Insider Louisville. Um, in our second hour tonight, um, starting at 6 o'clock, we've got a, a live musical guest, and we're very happy to announce that Miss uh, Louisville's own Shane Marie Mize will be nice. playing um, live for us. Um, um, we're also going to be playing cuts from her... Uh, previously released albums and talking about her soon to be released new album um it's going to be called among the gray um first things first though as i promised on facebook all week we're going to be giving away some tickets to tomorrow's show at headliners music hall um featuring buddy miller and jim lauderdale um Buddy and Jim are two pioneers of Americana music. Their solo recordings, songwriting, studio sessions, and live performances have made um, them treasures of the roots and country music scene. Um, They came together last year to collaborate on an album of duets. Um, Here's your chance to see them live. Um, Just email me at cumberlandcountry at gmail.com. And the first two emails I get, um, you guys win a set of tickets to uh, see that show. And that's tomorrow at Headliners. Um, While I'm waiting for those emails, we're going to play our first song tonight. um, And it happens to be from Buddy Miller and Jim Lauderdale. Um, This is called South in New Orleans. And we're going to be right back with uh, Michael Tierney from Insider Louisville. Yeehaw. First time I saw you all I did was stare And all of my buddies, they gave me a dare To go on and ask her what she's gonna do tonight So I said, you wanna take a ride in my whole truck Jump on it, girl, and buckle up We'll head to the field where the stars shine bright on a full moon Saturday night Fireflies are glowing all around Holding each other, not making a sound That was a night that I knew the rest of my life would be spent with you So let's go back in my old pickup truck No need, girl, to buckle up Next we'll head to the creek where the water shines bright on a full moon Saturday Saturday night, we both knew, cause 
was we drove each other crazy and our love came true We always take a ride in our truck Jump right in and you buckle up We head through the field to the creek Shining bright every full moon Saturday We head through the field to the creek Shining bright every full moon Saturday You know what? Actually, that was not um, <laughs> Buddy Miller and Jim Lauderdale. That was actually a local boy here, um, Corey Wayne Sorg, and uh, that was Full Moon Saturday Night. Um, I actually pushed the wrong button, and that happens in live radio sometimes. <laughs> um, uh, we'll we'll play that uh, Buddy Miller and Jim Lauderdale song here in a little bit. But first, um, I want to um, uh, turn towards our in studio guest host tonight, Mr. Michael Hannon Tierney. Um, he's a writer for Inside Louisville. Um, I'm going to give you a little intro here now. Cool. Okay. He's a world I traveler. <laughs> he's a magna cum laude graduate of the University of Kentucky. He holds degrees in history and political science. He also writes and performs original music from time to time, um, which you know fits right in with us here at Cumberland Country and Crescent Hill Radio because we're all about local and regional original music. Welcome, Michael. Thanks for having me. This all is right, awesome. Man. Cool. I'm glad you could come in, and um, we're going to be talking, like I said, about all things um, local and regional music. Um, tell me a little bit about Insider Louisville real quick. Insider Louisville's uh, a growing online newspaper. I think it gets about 35,000 hits a day. Really? So I think my boss said it was the third biggest website, but let's not get into rankings. Okay. As people like <laughs> controversy. I don't know if that's true. So, But... Uh, Overall, it's a growing online website. Uh, I've been writing music stories and small business stories and some other things since uh, um, since about last June. Right. And got to go to some festivals and cover things like that and cool. kind of the local music scene for a little bit now and just digging right. in, finding more things out about and, it. And you have been writing some music stories, so we're going to get to that here <laughs> in a little bit. Um, you, you've ruffled a few feathers in town, I think. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. You know what? That's what it's all about. Um, I like, um, uh, you know, I looked up the, uh, I don't know if it's the mission statement, you would call it, uh, for Insider Louisville. And, but I like what it says that um, Insider Louisville is the future of information delivery in the iPad age, aggressive community journalism, in the public interest delivered instantly via an internet-based ba media platform. Yeah. Um, you know, and that is kind of the future. Um, let me ask you a question. Do you do you think that um, print media is, is a dying art? No, I, I, I really still enjoy print media, um, especially in coffee shops. Being able to read the New York Times is very important, right. staying up to date. And sometimes it's nice to have something in your hands. There's something just... Uh, uh, sentimental about that but when it comes to information just being able to be instantaneously in people's hands and sure. into people's eyes and right. uh, passing on information that's so vital in today's world right. and that's something at Insider Louisville we're taking advantage of sure. um, and we're figuring out how do we even expand that coverage right and it's it's getting bigger. Uh, we just got new offices down on the New Lou area, and I think we're cool. going to be having a new website soon. Great, great. And you know what? We are kind of in that age, I think. We're in, and I, I hesitate to call it kind of the Jetsons age, but I mean, really, if you think <laughs> about it, I mean, you know, you see people with their iPads and and you know, um, you know, their phones. I mean, we have, you know, um, uh, up to date 
information, you know, right at our fingertips, you know, yeah. instantly now. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a brave new world. Exactly. Um, I do want to mention something that I thought was kind of funny. Well, not funny, but but uh, um, one of your promises um, um, to, I guess, to your to your readers was that we at Insider Law will believe that a literate, discerning, and critical citizenry is crucial to the well-being of the republic and so, social stability. <laughs> and I thought, man, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we are. If you know my boss, Terry Boyd, uh, you know that Insider Law is nothing but trouble. <laughs> Great man, but uh, uh, thanks for come you know coming in, and we're going to be talking um, about, like I said, uh, local music, and talking you know a little bit about you know your your views. But we're also going to be playing some music awesome. while we're doing that. So uh, right now we're going to try again to play that Buddy Miller and Let's Jim Jim Lauderdale song. Um, uh, again, um, Buddy Miller and Jim Lauderdale will be out at Headliners Music Hall tomorrow um, night. Um, uh, this is South in New Orleans on Cumberland Country. Wow. We make love to the rumble beat down south in New Orleans. Down south in New Orleans, prettiest girl I ever seen. Sparkling eye, lips so sweet. We make love to the rumble beat. Ships at anchor, my suitcase packed Got a one-way ticket and coming back Life's a pleasure, love's a dream Down south in New Orleans My dark-eyed baby, I'm on my way Back into your arms to stay I tired of work, I wanna play And I love you night and day Down south in New Orleans Prettiest girls I've ever seen Sparkling eyes, lips so sweet south in new orleans that was buddy miller and jim lauderdale and we are back live on cumberland country on crescent hill radio um and i have uh, to my left mr michael hannon tierney from insider louisville he's my guest host tonight thanks for coming in man thanks for having me man this is cool stuff uh, yeah um, we're having a lot of fun um you guys should see all the signatures down here it's pretty awesome right well th- you know what if you go to ustream.com and and look up crescent hill radio um you can uh watch the live uh video stream <laughs> of right here in the studio and i actually if you go to crescenthillradio.com right there on the home page you can see it too so 
Um, if you want to see us, I mean, I do have a face for radio. Um, <laughs> Michael's a little bit better looking, but I did shave for the occasion. <laughs> but I was kind of hoping people didn't see my baby face. But, but here uh, it is. <laughs> you know what, Michael? Uh, what first brought um, you to my attention was an article that you did. Um, I think it was it was it the twenty fifth January twenty mm-hmm. fifth last Friday. Um, on uh, local radio. And one of the other uh, DJs here at the station, um, Kevin Cox, um, posted it. And, you know, I checked it out. And, uh, you know, I posted it. I thought it made a lot of, you know, a lot of good points. Um, it kind of took on a life of its own. I mean, um, as I said in the in the intro, it ruffled a few feathers in town. But I think, you know, what was said kind of needed to be said. And, and um <sighs> Do you mind talking about that a little bit? Without? I'd love to talk okay. about it. Uh, uh, first off, uh, when it comes to reactions, I, I looked around for a little bit and saw some of the buzz blossoming. And then I talked to my dad because it's kind of the first time I really did something pretty critical. And uh, But I thought it was really truthful and honest. Sure. And for a lot of those emotions and sentiments and feelings I've been building up as a WFPK listener for years now. So, I've been listening to that radio station since I was in high school. They've really been my influence uh, early on and until I went to college and, you know, kind of wandered off the beaten track of WFPK listening. But uh, overall, I just, I know a lot of bands in town. I, I really dig the local music scene here and I'm friends with them. So, of course, there's a little bit of bias that I... I'm friends with local music and not with the DJs, but right. then again, I, I, that's who I worship. I worship the bands. I worship the music that's made here in town, and just because they're not at Bonnery doesn't mean they're not cool, and just sure. because they're not celebrities on Consequence of Sound or whatever, that they're not cool. They're really right. cool people here in town. And I just think that uh, the city needs to showcase some of the more um, prominent talents and kind of unite the music scene a little bit sure. more. You, and, and you know what? Um, and you've kind of let the cat out of the bag. Uh, you mentioned the station, and, and that's fine. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, like I told you earlier, we're not here to really be super critical. But l- like I said, you did bring up a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, good points. Mm-hmm. Um, now, WFPK, they do play local music, and they do do oh, some yeah. things around town to support local music. But, you know... We here at Crescent Hill Radio, you know, we we love local music. I mean, we only play local and regional, regional music. And, you know, I feel like maybe there's a little more they could do. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, like I said, you know, we're not going to go deep into that. We're oh, not no, here they to, do tons of good right. things, and they do a lot right. of great things for the city uh, as just a national destination for bands to come and tour at. Sure. And without that, we'd be stuck with just whoever came to the state fair or whatever I exactly mean. <laughs> exactly but uh but a really good article and where uh tell tell our listeners if they want to check out that article where they can find it you guys can find that article on inside of louisville in the art section or just google uh i think it was like local radio but no local love i'm sure it's pretty high up on the google uh standings I, right. my friend uh, googled inside of louisville and that was the first thing that came up that day so i knew i had uh roused some feathers just through right. friends and, and and other bands but that's okay I, I i know that no band is going to really come forth and say something against the, their only chance to be on the radio sure. and i'm not really concerned about my music ever getting right. on wfpk right. so i just wanted to really kind of stand up for what needed what, that a lot of people right. in town want well, to great. say. And and you know, and I was joking with you that that you did mention Crescent Hill Radio in your article and you I, I don't I'm not I've got the article here and I'm not going to look exactly. <laughs> well, I think I might have underlined it. Go for it, man. <laughs> you said huh, Did I Oh yeah, you said Crescent Hill Radio and Art FM are kind of cool but are more podcast than radio. <laughs> And I want to take offense to that oh, because you should, man. We, we we you know we have the AM signal. We do we do stream live on the air, and we you do have a lot of listeners who check out our SoundCloud replays. But you know what? Um, there's 
big things happening for Crescent Hill Radio. Yeah. There's a buzz in the community. I don't know if you've heard it, but... Oh, local music is buzzing right, right now, and I'm really glad about your all's news. And I guess my thing is I'm always on the go, right. and I want to rock out in exactly. the car, and exactly. I haven't been able to do that I got you. for a while. I got you. I was just giving you a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, let's play some more of that local music. Let's I tell it. you what, um, I'm kind of excited about this because this is a... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is a an exclusive. Um, I talked to uh, a couple of guys from uh, Fifth on the Floor, um, Justin Wells, their, their singer, and um, their lead guitarist, Matty Rogers. And I just bugged them unmercifully to get me a cut from their new album, um, Ashes and Angels. Um, the release party actually is not until February 16th at uh, Buster's in Lexington, but they finally sent me one. A copy, uh, or you know, the first single. Um, this album's actually uh, being produced by Shooter Jennings. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking awesome. forward to, to hearing that whole thing. But but here is um, the cut they sent me, the first single from um, Ashes, and, Ashes and Angels um, from Fifth on the Floor, January in Louisiana on Cumberland Country. It's a cold, cold night in an even colder cell I'm a long way from home and even further from bail I ain't got no shoes, nobody for a friend January in Louisiana and this day won't ever end That man took my livelihood and that man took my wife One shot from my pistol, I thought I'd make it right And no matter how you look at it, I'd do it all again January in Louisiana a new one from fifth on the floor january in louisiana and uh a good cut man that was man that yeah. was fast and rocking i like it and hunter Embry be pumped about that yeah on the radio um ashes and angels uh, is coming out um 
um, actually the pre-release party is uh, February 16th. I don't think the album actually officially releases nationally till March 12th, but um, if you go out to Buster's February 16th, you can, you can pick up the album um, and, you know, probably T-shirts and everything else, man. Oh, but uh, but Shooter Jennings is going to be out there is what I heard, so it's going to be a fun night, man. Great, um, great. You know, it's not very often you get to rub shoulders with uh, Wayland's. Yeah, Wayland's and Buster's, cans. it's a hard place to fill, but it's got pretty good sound in there. Right, it's right. awesome. Uh, we are live back on Cumberland Country on Crescent Hill Radio with Michael Hannon Tierney from Insider Louisville. Um, we're talking about music and, uh, and uh, variety of things and right, spiciness. <laughs> right. Uh, Michael, I, I saw another when I was doing research for uh, my uh, our, our little show here. I saw another article you did um, again about Louisville music, and this one's titled Two Ideas for Expanding Louisville's Music Scene." Um, you've got some really good ideas, and, and um, actually, a couple. Uh, one of the things that we've actually talked about here at Crescent Hill Radio um, in expanding our station. Um, tell us, uh, tell us about that article. You know, that article was it was actually attached to the WFBK story at first, and kind of got split into its own little thing. Right. Um, but I think my whole problem. Like uh, one big problem for the local scene is just getting around to local shows. I've been around the world, right? And that includes Nashville and prominent music cities. And there's always just like a spot where you can walk around, and every bar you go into, there's cool live music going right. on, right. and it's not a cover band a tin roof. <laughs> sure. So uh, the big thing was just like Louisville needs a spot for all the rock stars to go to and unite, right. but that's going to take a cooper- cooperative effort that right now is out of reach. They're both right. lofty goals. Right. But the one goal that I think is more achievable, and that's to have a venue to start out with that is has to be all ages because most cool bands in town have a hard time hitting all ages. Sure. But sure. I think a, ba- a venue with one stage on the left one stage on the right band plays on the right band on the left sets up band right ends right. band left begins people hate that downtime as bands set up but they also don't understand that it's really hard to get your sound set up right. the way you need it right. also it would be kind of a battle of the bands feel right. who's better and spice things up exactly would be cool. Well, why haven't you started your own club, Michael? Send, oh. send your donations to Michael Hannon Tierney. I, I would love it to be to get an opportunity. And uh, right now, I'm just trying to be a voice, but right. I'll take any opportunity right. that comes my way. If you it's know, happening. the great thing about Louisville, and we touched on this when um, actually, actually Michael, um, not not um, um, J- Michael James Hauser. Um, Kyle James Hauser, I'm sorry. I get, got him mixed up. With yeah. you. Um, we touched on that when Sonal Blast artist Kyle James Hauser was in the studio here. He's actually from Denver, and he signed with Sonal Blast and, um, and you know, was doing some touring, and, and he mentioned that Denver is just far away from everything. So he, he got a map, and he put it up on the wall, and he was kind of looking at areas um, that were kind of centrally located, and Louisville, you know, was right there. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons that we have the UPS hub here. Exactly. Um, and he said he decided to move to Louisville because that could be his, you know, well, Sonoblast is here. Plus, that could be his base of operations when he's touring. Mm-hmm. Um, and you mentioned something in here about Louisville um, has so many things going for it to be that music mecca. Um, mm-hmm. The cost of living's low. And there's good food and beer, you said. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a small buzz nationally. Um, it's, you say, in fact, Louisville is kind of even in right now. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Louisville is in. It, it, I mean, once a city or just an area or something gets going around the Internet, uh, everyone kind of hops on the bandwagon, and hopefully we're not right. out next year. But uh, it seems that... People are catching on and turning that maybe, okay, Portland's cool, but wh- wh- what else is going on in the country? Sure. But um, when it comes to the Mecca, 
you're right. We're so close to really awesome music cities. Right. But we also have music in this state that is very unique to this state. Sure. And we're also such a cultural hodgepodge that the music that does get formed here, whether it's people that moved here via jobs or went to UFL or, or just being a weirdo from Louisville, it turns out some pretty cool music and styles, right. blends of styles. Right. right. Well, very good points. Um, I'll tell you what we're gonna we're gonna play some more of that local music now. Um, this next song um, is a song by um, local, um, actually singer songwriter and producer Joel Timothy, and I actually talked with Joel Timothy um, earlier in the day about this song. Um, this this is a cut called Mississippi Sun, and he was telling me about you know I was telling him that I have a lot of ties to Mississippi because my my dad was born and raised there and I have a lot of relatives there. And um, I don't know, there's something about Mississippi. And, of course, you know, blues music is so tied to Mississippi. Oh, yeah. um, and he was telling me about this song, and, and, you know, there is a backstory on it, that he was, his brother um, um, lived down there, and he was always kind of visiting his brother and kind of, you know, just exploring the area. And he was in a tiny town um, that was about an hour from Gulfport, and he went into a diner, and he was like the only, you know, white guy in there. And there was a girl about 24 or 25 that was working at the counter. And she said, you're not from around here, are you? (laughs) And um, she started asking him, you know, about his life. And, you know, he he was living in San Francisco then. And, um, you know, she had never been anywhere, really. And and she started asking him, you know, where he had been. And and, uh, started locally, like, you've been to Jackson. He's like, yeah, you've been to New Orleans. Yeah, New York, you know. And then she just started paraphrasing um, the song lyrics, you know, that you're going to hear in this song. And uh, he said that at that point he was more of a, uh, a really a journalist, you know, taking down um, what she was saying than a, than a songwriter. But uh, Capturing a moment. <laughs> right, exactly. But this is, you know, um, um, Joe Timothy. And Joe's actually going to be on the show next week um, on Cumberland Country, so I'm excited about that. This is a Mississippi Sun um, by Joe Timothy on Cumberland Country. Is 
That was Joel Timothy, Mississippi Sun, and uh, I really like that team. Right? Um, Joel's going to be on on Cumberland Country next Thursday, so uh, tune in for that. We are uh, here with uh, Insider Louisville's um, Michael Hannon Tierney, um, writer, Howdy. writer extraordinaire, <laughs> and uh, he, he's been sharing his uh, his views on on local music and uh, and. Uh, Michael, we were talking off the air um, about something that just actually came out this week. Um, the Louisville Music Awards. Um, um, actually, I think it's September 23rd at Headliners. Um, um, they're going to have the first annual Louisville Music Awards. Um, I'd say it's awesome. part rock concert, part hoedown, part improvised jam session. The Louisville Music Awards will commemorate the artists, fans, and businesses that make the region's eclectic music scene so awesome. You know what? I'm excited about that, man. What do you think? I'm super excited. Uh, it, I think that's a great, great thing for Louisville Music. Um, but it'll be interesting to see who's involved right. and who's playing. Is it going to be friends of friends of who's putting it on, or is it going to be an accurate representation of what's gotcha. going on? Gotcha. Um, you know, it says come be a part of something that will help solidify the Louisville area as a hot spot for great live music and local talent. And it says you can actually uh, you can uh, nominate, um, you know, local bands, musicians, you know, what have you on their um, Facebook page, the Louisville Music Awards Facebook page. So, um, I, I, you know. Before you know, we'll have a Louisville Music Hall of Fame. We probably need one. <laughs> that would be very cool, you know. Um, you know what? Um, I actually went on there, and, you know, I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it. I went on there, and I nominated Crescent Hill Radio as best local radio station. So, <laughs> Amen. Confidence, um, man. Yeah. That's what you need. <laughs> um, again, we are uh, live in the studio with um, Michael Han and Tierney, and um, we've been playing a lot of a lot of local music. Um, tell me about some of the bands here locally that that you dig, man. Oh man, well we're we're doing Cumberland Country, so I gotta give props and anyone that has read anything I've written. Um, I love Whiskey Bent Valley Boys. Right, um, they are, you know just as raw and organic and as like something listening to them is really just like brings me back to what I love most about music and that's just playing it in a room right. and that record that they released was like having them in the room with you it, sure. it's not anything overproduced and all that stuff 
Uh, in another country band or bluegrass, I have to give a huge shout out to uh, Sugar Tree out of Berea, Kentucky. Okay. Three girls, a uh, fiddle, a banjo, and a guitar. And we were in Berea, me and my buddy, playing a concert. It was a whippoorwill festival. It was right. all about sustainability and local organizations over in eastern Kentucky right. and anti-coal and all that uh, awesome stuff. But these girls came on before us, and they blew me away. I mean, it was like actual, like, hills music of east kentucky and the harmonies were rich their spirit was awesome i mean they rocked the stage like only a kentucky woman right. can so, so, <laughs> sugar tree right? sugar tree yeah we'll have to check them out oh, you great. know what Let, let's play some whiskey bent valley boys we play them here on crescent hill radio in cumberland country um let's do that right now we've got uh awesome. um, at arms Woo! from the whiskey bent valley boys on cumberland country At Arms, uh, Whiskey Bent Valley Boys. And uh, we are back live on Cumberland Country with uh, Michael Hannon Tierney from Insider Louisville. Um, almost at the end of uh, the first hour of Cumberland Country, we have uh, Shan Marie Mize um, coming in to perform live for us on the second hour. Looking forward to that. Um, awesome. Let's take a second to check out the... Uh, well, what I've been calling the Cumberland Country Concert Calendar. How radio is that? Man? Um, uh, let's talk about what's going on around town. Tonight, the White Russians are going to be at the Dark Star Tavern, just right down the road here on Frankfurt Avenue. Jess Longer's great. That's you got to right. go see them. Uh, Amos Ho- Hopkins and Jess Longer um, playing your uh, best bluegrass tunes from 9 to 12. Check them out. Um the Soundcheck Boys, Mark Conover and Travis Bishop, are going to be at Diamonds in St. Matthews from 10 to 2 tonight. Um, 
Mark and Travis are. Uh, they were the four hour sound check, and they changed it to the sound check now. <laughs> but uh, um, they put on quite a show, uh, a really good show. Friday, as I uh, mentioned at the top of the hour, um, Buddy Miller and Jim Lauderdale are going to be at Headliners Music Hall at uh, 8 p.m. Um, uh, Buddy and Jim are currently have the top album on the Americana Music Association charts. Um, we're giving away tickets to on from Cumberland Country. On um, hold on a second here. Um, um, Cheyenne called. Um, we're giving away tickets to uh, um, Buddy and Jim's show at Headliners. Um, just send me an email to. Cumberland Country at gmail.com. Um, that's courtesy of Crescent Hill Radio, Cumberland Country, and Production Simple. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Um, also, Friday, Screaming John and Johnny Berry are going to be live at Wicks Pizza. Johnny um, Berry's good. Yeah, Johnny Berry is something else. We're going to play play some of him here in just a second. Um, at at Wicks Pizza on Baxter Avenue from 9 to 12. They're playing blues and classic country. And I tell you what. Um, you know, Screaming John, the blues, and Johnny Berry with classic country. I mean, that's a great combination. Um, also, Friday, Corey Wayne Sorg. Um, it's going to be at Khalil's on Dixie Highway. We played him a little bit earlier. Um, he's an up and coming artist. Um, um, he promises the fun night filled with great food, drink, and and much more. Um, come see Corey before he gets too big to play um, a little town like Louisville. <laughs> Um, Saturday, um, the Dallas Moore Band um, uh, is going to have their CD release party for Blessed Be the Bad Ones. Um, the guest is going to be Pure Grain. Um, it's going to be at the Coyote Ridge Saloon in Monroe, Ohio at 9 p.m. Um, get your copy of the new album as well as some swag um, from the Dallas Moore Band. Um, and... Uh, Let's see. Some there's some open mic nights around the area. Uh, Monday at New Directions on Chamberlain Lane, Johnny Evans hosts an open mic night. Wednesday at Mulligans, um, Amos Hopkins and the Kentucky Hellbenders has a has a great open mic night. Thursday is at the Maple Inn with Kevin Grayson. Now, if you're a singer songwriter and have a band and would like your event mentioned on the Cumberland Country concert calendar, just email me the details at cumberlandcountry at gmail dot com. All right. I got a little sidetracked there because our our guest um, called me on the air, and I was wanting to take because I didn't know if she you know needed directions to I the station or not. <laughs> and I got kind of lost, but um, we're back now. Um, but we're talking with uh, Michael Hannon Tierney from Insider Louisville, and uh, like I said, Cheyenne Marie Mize is in the studio. She's in the house. She is. So uh, at the top of the hour, she's going to be playing live for us. Um, I really appreciate you coming by, man. You're, you know, very knowledgeable about music and 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 local music, you know, in particular, and have a lot of uh, really cool ideas about you know how things can we can change, you know, this town, yeah. um, and really, you know. We do need to change it a little bit. Oh, it can grow, and there's opportunities for it to be grown. And uh, I think uh, it's only a matter of time. That's right. all I got to say. Right. So let's play. Let's see. Let's play some more music. Let's do uh, it. I want to play. Let's play some Johnny Berry and the Outliers. How does that do. sound? This is uh, the song The End, and this actually was featured on. Um, the Sons of Anarchy TV show not too long ago. Nice. Uh, I, I walked in on uh, Johnny Bear at the Monkey Wrench, and it was uh, people were actually dancing. So right, that is a very rare thing in Louisville. Sometimes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, well, here it is: Johnny Bear and the Outliers, the end on Cumberland Country. <laughs> It ain't too hard to understand it It ain't too much to comprehend It can't be made any plainer It's all over, it's all done Yeah. 
was the first and last thing she said this morning. A dark, frosty ambush without warning. She said it's gotten so bad she don't even want me for a friend. It's all over, it's all done, it's the end. No more staying up all night. No more knock down, drag out. Don't know where I'm going, but I know where I begin, and it's all over, it's all done, it's the end. It ain't too hard to understand it, it ain't too much to comprehend. the end by Johnny Berry and the Outliers and, and that tune was featured on Sons of Anarchy and I thought that was pretty cool yeah man. Um, Johnny Berry great great uh, local artist he's playing uh, uh, with uh, Screaming John at Wicks Pizza I think Saturday I said um, we are uh, back with uh, uh, Michael Hannon Tierney from Insider Louisville and Michael I appreciate you coming in tonight man thanks for having me man it's right? been a big day I saw a concerto violin concerto this morning of Tchaikovsky and right. now Cheyenne Mize is in here and it's a big music day for now, you yeah, the next right? thing I'm going to do today is uh, find out the inner workings of the man in paramilitary groups and be a idea festival university course really yeah I, I love local music but i love the workings of the man <laughs> <laughs> there you go man and we'll be looking for you know some new articles um from you and uh um i'm excited to read them so uh yeah, it'll be on know. one on whistle peak tomorrow and we're trying some blend some video journalism and journalism and other bloggy stuff together into a nice little package bloggy stuff yeah totally. bloggy <laughs> all right well we're gonna play uh we got time to play one more um tune here before uh we we turn the show over to miss cheyenne maria mas who is is in the studio patiently waiting um you know what i was telling you about alabama brown and the inside outlaws right um this tune right here is a tune that she actually did live right here in the studio nice. um, when she was on the studio this uh, in the studio this summer um, um i'm a real big fan of alabama brown this is a uh, this is called lie on cumberland country this is a song called lie and actually i did not write this song i can't take credit um my jacob adams the guy who was playing bass with me um uh, he's a really good friend of mine has been for a long time he wrote this song and he wrote it in a very martin sexton style and i was like i'm gonna take that and what uh he he said that i bamified it and i just made it into more of a, a bluegrassy version and he said that as long as i gave him credit where it was due that i could keep his song so it's called lie all right, here's Lie, Alabama Brown and the Inside Outlaws. Oh, I know I'm 
a drunk But I heard you like drinking too Oh yes, and I know you rely Much less on me than I rely on you Oh, but I trust your judgment Much more than I trust my own But I can see how you could lie to me Yeah. 
with Gideon's Angstat, and we are back live on Cumberland Country, and I have live with me in the studio tonight on Cumberland Country, very proud to announce, singer-songwriter Cheyenne Mize, Cheyenne Marie Mize, but she gave me permission to call her Cheyenne Mize tonight, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me <laughs> uh, on. You know, the New York Times described Cheyenne's 2010 debut, before lately, as sweet without being cloying, weary without hopelessness. And they went on to say that Before Lately was a slow-burning, introspective affair. Her follow-up EP, We Don't Need, was described by listenbeforeyoubuyit.net as almightily good. And I think that's almightily. Is that a word? That's a word. Right. It is now. <laughs> um, Shan is set to release her next full-length record titled Among the Gray in the late spring or early summer. Um, National Public Radio chose Cheyenne as one of their 10 discoveries at South by Southwest 2011. Welcome to Cumberland Country, Cheyenne. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Um, You know, here on Cumberland Country and Crescent Hill Radio, we're all about local and regional original music. And, um, you know, that's all we play. So... uh, when someone like you comes along, someone who, you know, is, you're from right here in Louisville, right? I'm actually from southwestern Kentucky, okay, near, but, near but, Lane Between the Lakes. I've lived right. here for about 20 years gotcha. now. So, yeah, it's hot. So, you are from the region. Mm-hmm. Um, and, okay, you grew up. Um, you came from a musical family? Definitely a musical family. Um, I grew up listening to my grandmother play um, Carter family tunes and a lot of old time gospel and stuff. And then um, on down the line, my aunt and uncle both played. My aunt played piano. My uncle played guitar and uh, learned a lot from them. Uh, my my dad was a radio DJ in the seventies right here in Louisville for uh, WLRS. Oh wow! And uh, when it was you know the only rock FM station sure. on the radio, so I uh, grew up listening to a lot of seventies rock and and all that. My mom worked at the radio station too, so. Very cool. Um, when when did you get that bug? When did you start, you know, playing music? I think I was always singing. I have a recording from when I was about three years old. Yeah. I think that we sent to my grandma down in Florida okay. of me singing. But um, I started playing piano when I was about eight and added guitar and violin around ten or eleven, and uh, slowly added some other string instruments along the way. And yeah, and, uh, and you are a multi instrumentalist. How many how many instruments do you play? Have you counted them? It depends on what you mean by <laughs> <laughs> can you play. I right. can play. <laughs> right. It's just a matter of, uh, I wouldn't call myself a master at a, a gotcha. lot of them. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Well, you know what? Um, do you remember writing your first song, you know, original song? I used to write in high school and 
don't I never wrote any of them down or recorded them. Right. So I know the, there were some that are lost forever, but um yeah, I started writing I guess kind of at the end of college and right. um I don't know which one was my first. I am going to play one of one of okay. my first here tonight. Great. So. Great. <laughs> well, let's let's actually, you know, get started right now. We want to hear you play live. So, uh play us a live song. What what are you going to play for us? This is an old one from from before lately. Um I guess it was released in 2010, but but I w- would have written this song probably a couple of years before that. So okay, uh, it's called Rest. <laughs> beautiful song thank you yeah. i don't get to play that one very often i right. play a lot more kind of rock and stuff these days so right. it's good to play the quiet ones every once Did in a while i hear a little patsy klein in there there's a little reference yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> great um again we're here with cheyenne mize um on cumberland country um cheyenne let's talk a little bit about your your influences um actually before that let's talk about 
who do you listen to when you're just listening to music for enjoyment? Anybody in particular? I have so many um so many groups that I really enjoy it. It really depends on the mood because sometimes it could be the Carter family and old time fiddling, and right. then you know it could be classical music. It could be um, you know Radiohead or some of my old favorites like Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin. So it's right. it goes goes all over the place. Runs and the gamut. yeah, and and new friends that I meet on the road and stuff. I always like to find new music. I, it's hard for me to uh, to piece through all of the bands that are out there these days but so i usually tend to listen to the ones that i actually see live or run into or meet on the road do you get a chance to to go out in the louisville area and and hear live music yeah yeah and i have a lot of friends who play in a a bunch of amazing bands so i I try to see them whenever i can do you want to you you probably don't want to mention any of them do you afraid you'll leave somebody out we had joe henderson on there yeah there's um, last week and he actually mentions you um has one of his favorites. Yeah, he's great. We've only gotten to share one show, but it was a lot of fun. Right. And Joan Shelley is another great one. I work with her in, in Maiden Radio. We play together in that band. Uh, she also was supposed to be playing tonight at the Winter Wednesday uh, performance right. at WFPK, but right. I believe that she had to cancel because she is sick. Right. So that's gotcha. too bad. Um, uh, there yeah, is lots a, of others. Yeah, there's a lot of great. Um, um, talented musicians, singer songwriters, bands in the Louisville area. Um, yeah, I know you mentioned Whistle Peak earlier. Those are some right. of my favorites, and right. there's yeah, the list goes on right. and on. It does. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's talk about your influences. What artists um, have influenced you know your writing and playing? Well, I was asked the other day what was my favorite album of all time, and that was a really impossible question, but. Um, it, what came to mind immediately was OK Computer by uh, by Radiohead, which uh-huh. when I heard it in high school, it was unlike anything I'd ever heard before. And it was so different, the way that they use sounds and the way that they use their instruments and, and equipment to make sounds that you haven't heard before. Right. Um, that was a huge influence to me. Of course, I wasn't writing music yet, but I think that sunk in. And along the same, li- same lines, I think Pink Floyd does a similar thing where, sure. you know, they were on the cutting edge of of everything that they did. Um, and just, I guess, not thinking of songs in your traditional um, verse, chorus, verse, right. bridge, chorus right. uh, format and, and, and hearing chord progressions and lyrics in a different way. Right. Well, cool. You know what? We're going to play some songs um, off your uh, off your CDs. And, and you brought a couple of your CDs in. And um, this first one is from Maiden Radio, um, Lullabies. I think we're going to play Dear Someone. Can you tell us about that one? Yeah, this Maiden Radio album called Lullabies, we put together uh, when one of the band members, Miss Julia Purcell, was pregnant with her baby, Maya, who is now over two years old. Um, And we were making this as kind of a a birth gift to her, and and, uh, we had some friends that loved it so much they wanted to play it for their babies too. So now we have it on CD available um, around town and online. And this song is Dear Someone by Gillian Welch and David Rollins. Well, I couldn't set it better myself. Here it is. I wanna go all over the world and start living free. I know that there's somebody who is waiting. Say along in a dream. 
someone. That was Dear Someone, Cheyenne Mize. It's another pretty song. I could see falling asleep to that. <laughs> yeah, and and this lullabies album, it's it's we made it for a baby, but it is for all ages. It's for the sure. whole family, and that's sure. Miss Joan Shelley and Julia Purcell singing with great, me. Great, great. Um, uh, while we've got you here, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about your your songwriting. Um, first, do you have a process? I mean, when you sit down to write, well, um, I have a lot of different processes, gotcha. and uh, I think. You had mentioned we might talk about music therapy lately, and I think that sure. has kind of a lot to do with it. Um, I, I don't come to music from any one place. I, I kind of let it come to me, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Uh, and sometimes it's a, a lyric that's, uh, that I'm throwing around for a few days, or sometimes it's um, sometimes it's a, a musical figure that, that I start playing on a certain instrument, and that leads to something else. So it, it, it kind of varies, and I think that comes through on a lot of my music. It, it's It's all very different. <laughs> Gotcha. So, um, hopefully that's not a bad thing. No, no, not at <laughs> all. Um, uh, in addition to being a performer and singer so- songwriter, and and you touched on this, you have a degree in music therapy. Mm-hmm. Um, um, have you always approached writing as as kind of a, a form of therapy, even before you got into um, that as a career? I guess. Well, I actually didn't write any until after I had already been studying music therapy for a while and and performing really has come secondary to me Um, that's why I went into music therapy in college is because I didn't want to perform (laughs) Um, and and really it was I just loved playing with people more than I liked playing for people right. and and so once i kind of learned that i could still do that on a stage and and enjoy playing music with people other people on stage and that could come across to a, an audience then then i started performing and, and enjoying that a little bit more cool um and and you touched on the fact that you um did some collaboration on this maiden radio and and also off there we were talking about um um you you did an album with uh bonnie prince billy correct mm-hmm. um you know, do you, do you find it easy to collaborate? Is it something that that you have to work at? I think it's different in every situation, but um, the Maiden Radio ladies and I just get along swimmingly. Right. <laughs> it's so much we have so much fun singing together that it everything else kind of falls in the line sure. as, as soon as we do that. And and the uh, Bonnie Prince Billy album, Among the Gold. Um, that came together really easily too, and I think part of it was because the simpli- uh, because of the simplicity of our recording process. And Will really just wanted to help me record that album. Right. And um, originally, I thought that I was going to be playing and singing everything, and that he was maybe just going to do some harmonies on a song or two. But right. once we did those that first um, song, they all of the songs just really begged for kind of a, a love duet situation, sure. and so that's sure. what we ended up doing. Well, that's a, that's a really great album. Um, let's uh, let's play another live tune. Um, what are you going to play for us next? This song is from my EP that came out um, a, right at a year ago last year. Uh, this song is called It Lingers, and it's from the EP We Don't Need. Um, the album version doesn't get much radio play because <laughs> there's an expletive. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do the radio version All right. <laughs> today. Cool. Thank you. 
circles Spinning in circles anyway Oh, let it go Let it go Oh, let it go beautiful tune <laughs> um thanks for being on the show i really appreciate it um yeah. we've got um l- lots more to talk about um let's talk a little bit about um your aspirations as a musician and and this is something that that i kind of thought about i i'd imagine you get a lot of satisfaction from being a music um therapist um and i imagine you work really hard in school you know, to get your degree, um, do you see uh, yourself ever having to choose between performing and doing the music therapy thing? I mean, because you are, you know, you're kind of blowing up out there, I mean, <laughs> you know. I mean, people are, you know, uh, Shan Marie Mize, um, um are on a lot of people's, you know, tongue. So um, do you ever see yourself having to make that choice? I I will always be a music therapist, and I'll always come back to that. Um, But I think that performing and the kind of energy, emotional and physical energy that it takes to tour and and do that, um, this is kind of the chance that I have to do that. You know, this is the time when it's possible. I mean, some people can do it their whole lives, but I don't think that I will be able to. So, you know, I'm kind of taking the opportunity to do as much as I can and and really put forth the effort to – uh, right. make it what it can be for now um but it, i definitely always want to have a balance because they both um they both fill yeah. different parts of my soul sure, <laughs> that, sure. that need feeling so. and and i think um you're you're kind of the poster child for you know that uh um 
you know, go to school, have something to fall back on, you know, I'm sure. Yeah, you know. and they, they feed one another too, and it's funny, right. I was actually, I've been doing a project for the past few years with the Louisville Ballet called Bridging Cultures, where we go into uh, schools in, in Jefferson County and kind of underserved areas and, and provide some education about um uh, bridging cultures between Western uh, European music and ballet and right. West African music and dance and things like that. And it's it's really interesting. Gets the kids moving and dancing sure. and playing instruments and stuff. And at the end of one of the classes today, the teacher came up to me and she said, it's really funny. I didn't want to tell the kids because I, I just figured it out. But we listen to your CD in our class all the time. And I, I didn't want to tell them because they would have been too excited. Right. So we'll tell them tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of overlaps every once in a while. Right. And, um, th- those are always really sweet moments when I when I know that, you know, um, yeah, they, they just overlap every once in a while. Cool. So it's a good thing. Cool. Um, what would you say um, is... is I don't want to say goal because um, I mean you've done quite a lot and you're still you know um, out there um, you know and the sky's the limit for you really I think um, is there something in in music that that you would like to accomplish is there a you know a lot of country music singers want to be on the Grand Ole Opry is is there something you know that that you would really like to accomplish? No, um, because I didn't grow up wanting to necessarily you know be a, a rock star right, or, right. or you know being a performer or any of that I, I have don't have a lot of that and i think that serves me pretty well um yeah. I, it's easier for me to take it one step at a time sure. and so for me the next step is releasing this new full-length record that i have in the can it's it's the last uh final things i'm working on album art and stuff like that and cool. and really getting those last finishing touches on it but it's it's due out actually june 25th okay. is what i figured out okay. so we're, that's we're, the next we're step. looking forward to that and we're going to talk about that in just a just a minute but right now um we're going to play another cut from uh from your album um we don't need um, actually, we're going to play a cut from your album, We Don't Need. We haven't played a cut from that yet. Um, I think we decided we're going to play Going Under. Yeah, that would um, be a good one. Do you have anything to say about that? No, it's just it's one of the more kind of fun, upbeat numbers that I've written. So. Okay. <laughs> so it's a good Well, here switch. it is, uh, Shine Marie Mai's um, Going Under on Cumberland Country. <laughs>
Cheyenne is live with us in the studio on Cumberland Country, right here on Crescent Hill Radio. Um, thanks for thanks for being with us. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, you're you're kind of a big deal now. You're you're uh, you're <laughs> getting out there. <laughs> um, uh, let's talk a little bit about the new album. Um, you mentioned it earlier. It's called Among Among the Gray, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and you're you're working on that now. Are you still recording? All the recording is done, okay. all the mixing, all the mastering, all the musical pieces are in place. Um, right now we're just finishing up the album artwork and, um, and yeah, and, and waiting for the, for kind of enough time to get it in people's hands before it's right. released. Right. So. And, and when, when again did you say that's going to be released? June 25th. We've June changed 25th. the dates a few times, and okay. I think we're finally settled on June 25th. So okay. we haven't made an, an official announcement, so you're hearing it first on Cumberland Country. But Great. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll hear some more, exclusive. some more news on it coming up in the next Very couple weeks. Very cool. And you'll have to get that to us when, when, you, when you do you know, have the single out there. Um, where, where did you record the album? Uh, just like We Don't Need, I recorded... Um, Pretty much the whole record at uh, Kevin Ratterman's studio here in Louisville, okay. which um, he's calling La La Land these days. And, uh, yeah, he's he's a dear friend and uh, also, I guess, kind of co-produced um, the record. And, sure. and Yeah, so his, his sonic... Um, his sonic mark right. is all over it. <laughs> any, any uh, uh, I mean, uh, surprises in store on the album i mean you know any any local guys on there or anything like that a musician was um, yeah i had a, my band was mainly jc dennison uh drummer who um you've seen him in lucky pineapple also in um, um another seven astronauts a nice kind of chamber okay, classical yeah, ensemble yeah. in town and um drew english uh playing guitar who you've seen in a band called Natives and uh, The Invaders and, and some other great bands. Um, Emily Hagahara uh, played bass and percussion and sang some, and yeah. she's, a, she's an, a Lexington musician, okay. great musician. Had some guest vocals by uh, Dave Bird, Dave Cronin from Silver Tongues, um, also uh, Joan Shelley and Julia uh, Purcell, and had some string work also from, from some Louisville and regional musicians. Ben Soli plays some cello. Oh, cool. Um, and then some horns as well. Drew uh-huh. Miller and, and Dan Moore on horns. And I saw Ben out at Uncle Slayton's um, um, about a, a week or so ago. He was out there for the, um, um, was it Justin Lewis? Justin Lewis's, Paul Lewis yeah, and um, Kyle Hauser. Release, and, right. Yeah. And, yeah, Kyle, Kyle James mm-hmm. Hauser was out there too. Um, I didn't he, get to make it to that, but I heard yeah, it was good. It was a good show. And um, you know what? Let's let's play another live tune. Um, what what do you got for us? This is a song from the upcoming album. It's actually kind of a, a double song. It's split up into two on the record, but I always think of it as one. And it's called a Whole Heart and Heart Hole. Okay. <laughs> So give me all your time I've never asked for these things I've never asked for these things Because I don't know
thought about leaving today Packing my bags and I'm running away I'm really good at these things I'm really good at I've practiced live on Cumberland Country. Um, another great tune. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a two uh, for one. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Um, we are live with Shine Marie Mize on Cumberland Country here on Crescent Hill Radio. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, your live show and, and, and your touring. I mean, you do quite a lot of touring, don't you? I have at times and less right. at others. So the past past few months, past even six months, haven't been doing so much out on the road. Right. Been doing some some Louisville shows and really just trying to wrap up this right. record. Um, but have have some things coming up. Right. Now. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that. But um, do you before that? Do you like um, touring? I mean, do you like the road, as they they call it? Well, <laughs> my first touring experience was touring with Bonnie Prince Billy and, right. and his band. And, of course, he's had, you know, uh, close to 20 years, or at that point, close to 20 years to build his audience. And sure. so it was quite an experience for that to be my, my kind of first exposure right. to touring, you know. Um, it wasn't wasn't quite sleeping on floors and right. and, uh, and paying, you know, uh, singing for your supper. Right. but paying your dues. Right. That's that's kind of what I'm doing these days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's, it's a little bit of a shock to the system. And, you know, there's definitely nights where you play to to the bartenders and, and right. things like that. But um, I, I love getting to travel and getting to see the country. Sure. And even if, you know, obviously not making any money, um, but as long as you're getting to see those things and eat good food and, and meet 
awesome people and see great music. That's it's it's a treat, right. and I sure wouldn't trade right. it. Um, when when Among the Gray comes out, are you planning a big tour? Yeah, and before that as well, um, I'm heading down to South by Southwest in March. Cool. And um, on the way there, well, it's not really on the way, but the weekend before, we're going down to the Savannah Stopover Festival in Savannah, Georgia. Right. And that's the weekend before, and then, uh, yeah, so. And now you have a show up uh, coming up here locally. I do. Next Friday, um, it'll be... Um, not a full band show. I'm doing kind of an intimate night at the Bourbon Barrel Loft at okay. the BBC downtown. It's right across the street from the Yum Center. They have a beautiful space on their third floor. Right. And um, it's a benefit show for Saving Sunny Inc., uh, which is a local um, dog rescue, mostly pit bull dog rescue. Um, and they do some great things around town. And, um, yeah, the BBC is sponsoring that. Uh, Go Mordecai is a local band that's going to be playing an acoustic set and uh i believe joan shelley might be popping in to play some songs Great. as well so um again it'll be kind of a, a quiet night it's a really beautiful intimate space they're going to have it set up kind of lounge style and all proceeds go to the the dog rescue very nice very nice let's go ahead and play another cut off of uh, um lullabies the maiden radio um I think we decided we are going to play Say, Darling, Say. Yeah, that'll be a good one. All right. Here's Say, Darling, Say on Crescent Hill Radio. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's going to buy you a mockingbird. Say, darling, say. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Say, darling, say. And if that ring is made of brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. Say, darling, say. And if that looking glass gets broke, Papa's gonna buy you a billy goat. Say, darling, say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if that Billy Goat don't pull, Mom's gonna buy you a card and pull. Say, darling, say. And if that card and bull turn. Papa's gonna buy you a dog named Roar Say, darling, say And if that dog named Rover don't bark Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart Say, darling, say And if that horse and cart falls down You'll still be the sweetest baby in town Say, darling, say Uh, uh, say, darling, say. Mm-hmm, by Maiden Radio. Right, Maiden Radio. Um, we are live with Shine Marie Mize, um, live in the studio. We're going to take a second um, to uh, recognize our new sponsor on Cumberland Country, um, American Recording Company. Um, very proud to have them on board. Um, so check this out. American Recording Company, dedicated to providing professional quality audio recording at reasonable rates. Our creative and knowledgeable engineers can help tailor projects to meet your budget. For more information, call 502-457-9057 or on the web at AmericanRecordingCO.com. That's 502-457-9057, AmericanRecordingCO.com. ARC Studios, creative soundscaping. All right. Thanks to ARC. Um, 
we're going to take a second here to mention some of the shows around the area. Then we're going to be right back to uh, um, talk with uh, Cheyenne um, a little more before while we have time. Um, real quick, though, um, tonight um, the White Russians with Amos Hopkin and Jess Langer are going to be right down the road here at the Dark Star Tavern from 9 to 12 uh, playing your favorite bluegrass hits. Um, the sound check with Mark Conover and Travis Bishop are going to be at Diamonds in St. Matthews from 10 to 2 tonight. Um, Friday, um, as I've mentioned a couple times, Buddy Miller and Jim Lauderdale are going to be at Headliners Music Hall at 8 p.m. Um, and uh, we've actually given away a couple sets of tickets here on Cumberland Country to that show. Um, so check that out. That's from uh, uh, Production Simple and Cumberland Country. Uh, Screaming John and Johnny Berry are going to be live at Wicks Pizza on Baxter Avenue from 9 to 12 Friday. Um, your favorite blues and classic country songs. Corey Wayne Sorg is going to be at Khalil's on Dixie Highway at 10 p.m. Saturday, the Dallas Moore Band um, is going to have their CD release, Blessed Be the Bad Ones, um, at Coyote Ridge Saloon in Monroe, Ohio. And that shows at 9 p.m. Um, so get out there and support local and, and regional music because uh, if it wasn't for local music, there'd be no national music. And uh, speaking of local and national music, um, we are back with uh, Shan Marie Mize um, live in the studio. Um, again, we've been listening to uh, her play live and some of the cuts off her uh, her CDs. Um, right now, we're going to talk to you about your uh, your online presence. I guess where uh, can our listeners uh, find out more about you know your shows or or maybe pick up a CD? Do you have a website? I do. You can go to CheyenneMize.com. Um, you can Google my name a whole bunch of places. <laughs> a whole bunch of sites will pop up. But I am on uh, Twitter and on Facebook and on um, MySpace, although not much happens there these days. Right. And, uh, yeah, kind of all over there. Cool. Um, I actually heard that MySpace is, like, uh, um, redoing their whole you know, there's a new look to MySpace, so you know it might be worth checking out. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, <laughs> I mean, Facebook, there, there's Facebook is blowing up. Um, you know, I use, I, I really do use Facebook a whole lot in what I do. You know, talking to people, and, and in fact, I may, I don't know if I contacted you first on Facebook or not. I may have. That might have been. But, uh, but um, you know, as a musician today, you you have to know about those. Uh, this uh, social media and, and uh, um, online stuff. So yeah, there's some people lucky enough that have kind of an established thing and don't have to. But, right. Um, if you if you're just getting started these past exactly. couple of years, you, it's it's almost exactly. unavoidable. <laughs> well, I think we have time to play uh, one more live tune, and then we're going to come back and and play another cut off your uh, your CD. So uh, what what live tune are you going to play for us now? This is another new one off of the upcoming album. Great. It's called As It Comes. And right. uh, although kind of my songs tend to run the gamut of different genres, this is a little bit a little bit more of my country style. All right, it. cool. <laughs>
it as it comes Take it as it comes Yeah, take it as it comes ooh, ooh, ooh. Told me that it does, but it does but it wasn't But there's no time for looking back Just take it as it comes Yeah, take it as it comes Take it as it comes Yeah, take it as it comes What do you want me to do? Thank you so much, Cheyenne, uh, for, for being on the show. Cheyenne Marie Mize, guys, I mean. Thanks, uh, CJ. Thanks for having me. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, the new album, um, Among the Gray, is going to be out in June, June mm-hmm. 25th, right? Mm-hmm. June right. 25th. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Um, you're playing. Tell people about your show again. It is this uh, next Friday coming up. The 8th of February, uh, doors are open at 7. I believe music will start at around 7.30. It's right across from the Yum Center, the uh, BBC Bourbon Barrel Loft. And uh, I believe it is $12 at the door, and all proceeds go to the Saving Sunny Foundation. All right, great. Uh, again, thanks so much for being on Cumberland Country and Crescent Hill Radio. Um, we love your stuff. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, Stay tuned for Hippie Head Spotlight coming up at 8. Uh, next week on Cumberland Country, we're going to have singer, songwriter, and producer um, from right here in Louisville, Joel Timothy. We're also going to be giving away two sets of tickets to Blackberry Smoke. Um, they're coming to Headliners February 11th. Um, we're going to end the show tonight with uh, another one of uh, um, Cheyenne Marie Mize's tunes from uh, We Don't Need. Um, This is Wishing Well on uh, Cumberland Country on Crescent Hill Radio. Can I put a penny in the wishing well, wishing well? Can I put a penny in the wishing well, wishing well? Can I put a penny? Wishing well, I gave all my dollars away. Well, can I get a little love you anytime? Love and love. Can I get a little love you anytime? Love and love. Can I get a little love you? Love and love. And can't get enough. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Can I put a penny in the wishing well? Wishing well. Can I put a penny in the wishing well? Wishing well. Can I put a penny in the wishing well? I gave all my dollars away Once upon a time Had a wish but I never would have thought I would have found you came into my life And now I can't get enough of y'all anytime loving I had a wish but I never would have thought I would have found you came into my life And now I can't get enough of y'all Anytime loving, loving Can I put a penny in the wishing well Wishing well Can I put a penny in the wishing well Wishing well Can I put a penny in the wishing well I gave all my dollars away I wish I may Wish I might Have the wish I wish tonight And if I should die before I wake The Lord can't have my soul to take Just in case the devil wants to make a deal I'd sell my very soul just to get some of you anytime Enough can't get enough. 
Thank you for joining us for Cumberland Country. If you like what you hear, join us again next Thursday night at 6 p.m. for more of the best local and regional country music. If you have any suggestions or comments, you can email me at cj at crescenthillradio.com. Check out the show's webpage at crescenthillradio.com backslash Cumberland Country. For links and show information on artists featured tonight, check out my personal website at cumberlandcountry.net. Stay tuned for Hippie Head Spotlight.